өдөр бид тэдгээр ухаарал хайрласан лекцээд энийг болох 2013 оны 8 дугаар сарын 26-нд Францад англи хэлээр айлтсан багаар ажиллах сэтгэлтэй байл лекцийн нэгдүгээр хэсгийг багшаан шүтэлцээгээр таллуулж байна. Still cooking, yeah? Still cooking every day? Yeah. You cook good. Hey, who's all these people? Strangers in the night. <laughs> Even have some questions. Uh, a lot of people has questions. Oh, I wait for my nails to... <laughs> yeah. The world has to wait. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta look good nowadays. <laughs> Getting old. Yeah. Okay. If you see anybody wear more color than usual, that means she's getting old. <laughs> okay. What is it you want to tell me? Yeah. Just a couple of little stories, Master. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, not now. <laughs> I'm busy. <coughs> Can you cough later, please? I mean, God, you've been coughing all day, all night already. It's time to stop for a few minutes, okay? I've been to the doctor and he said nothing wrong with me, so I don't know what's wrong with me either. Ah, voila. Voila, madame. S'il vous plaît, parlez. Oh, um, we had a couple of people who came to the Loving Huts. Yeah. And they were smokers and they've been smoking for years. Mm -hmm. And they sat out on our terrace. Oh, this is my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that you know that my nails are nice. Mm -hmm. Since I wear these nails, anybody notice now? <laughs> Listen, this is nothing, guys. I saw some girls, they have it like this. Oh. And when, when they do the internet, they do like this. <laughs> Yeah, when I pick something, they do worse than I do now. You know? I'm already the middle, mi 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 just middle class, you know? And the first class, they grow like this. And some are long and curly like this, you know, right? Yeah. Okay, that's just to make fun of me for your sake. Yeah, now, go ahead. So they stopped smoking? Yeah, they did eventually. They were asked not to smoke, please. And they said, okay, we've been thinking about giving up. So they came back to the restaurant three months later to have a meal. And since that day, they hadn't smoked. Wow, wow. So they just quit after coming to the restaurant. Oh, great. It's really, really fantastic news. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco. 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide. Tobacco use kills one person every six seconds. Smoking-related costs, 193 billion US dollars annually in the United States alone. Depression. Light and mild cigarettes, just as harmful. Causes cancer and diseases in animal companions. Harms lung cell DNA that regulates breathing. Speeds the aging process. Toxic residues of third-hand smoke. Heart disease. Coronary thrombosis. Cerebral thrombosis. Kidney failure. Cancer. Mouth, liver, breast and colorectal cancer. Lung cancer. Esophagus cancer. Kidney cancer. Bladder cancer. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence. Additional harms for exposure to secondhand smoke. 600,000 deaths worldwide each year. Childhood arteriosclerosis, leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden infant death syndrome. More than 80% of the babies who die are exposed to secondhand smoke. Infertility, miscarriages and premature deliveries. Childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection cleft lip or palate, hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys, circulatory problems in women, lung damage in children leading to adult emphysema, lung cancer in non-smoking restaurant servers, hearing loss across all frequencies, childhood behavioral problems when exposed while in the womb. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers.
then we had another family who we, we brought a, a fridge off, a display fridge, and spoke to them about some of the facts of the vegan diet. Mm. And from the day that we brought that fridge, the whole family went vegan, the kids and the parents. Oh. It, it seems when you talk to people now, they're just... They just do it. They're so ready. Told you, told it's you. It's incredible. Powerful In now, you. past few months. All of you powerful now. Before, when you tell people, they say, okay, forget it. Yeah, they do. now they say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Very true. Yeah, I told you. Power. Very powerful you are now. Well, yeah. Master. Power. Change the world. Move mountains. <laughs> Not us, Master. <laughs> Who else? Was it's it? you. Tell him. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Master. Yes. Many things you wish now come true. But just don't be selfish, that's it, you know? Like uh, all the power I brought down to you, I can't use a thing. <laughs> it's all for you guys. Wow. I can't pray for myself, say, okay, listen, I, I have some power now, you know, I, I want this, I want that, I can't do it. It's all for you guys, for the world, for the universe, yeah? But you could pray for me. If I say something, you pray, it will become true. I, I pray cannot. I'm not mm. allowed to. Oh, wow. Yeah. And make sure you use the power also properly, okay? <coughs> <It's good. coughs> I'm so sorry, that's why I didn't really want to come, but I took medicine, okay? I was a good patient, but it just didn't work, huh? It's funny how when I'm sick, everybody is an expert, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, mama come out, papa come out, pop, mom, everybody comes out. I'll take this, master, take that. And I took all of them and... My stomach become bigger, I couldn't wear any dress, but, but my throat is just the same, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it's not the same, you know, it's better. It's been scratching and then itching and, and then it was wet and now it's... and then it became dry, dry cough, and now it become half dry, half wet. I don't know what next, <laughs> okay? I'm so sorry you have to see it. It's not very pretty, but... What to do, huh? I can't wear a mask. I look too pretty without a mask, right? <laughs> you want to see me without a mask, otherwise I could wear it. Yeah? You want me to wear it? Mm, yeah, you can still see my eyes. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I sit fast, so it's okay, eh? You done? Yeah, yeah. I'm done, Master. Sorry, I stole all the limelight with my nails <laughs> and my cough. Next one. Yeah, Thai. Your countrymen were here, and where were you? I was still in Germany. Working? Re regular working, yes. Ah, listen, in case you really want to have a luxurious meal or something, you talk to the kitchen, yeah, negotiate. <laughs> I am VIP, I can't eat soup every day. Listen, look at me, am I the one who eats soup? <laughs> Am I the one who the kind of person who would eat soup daily? Are you cooking me something <laughs> special, yeah? Special à la maison, huh? And then uh, you, you negotiate with them, yeah? But if you cook, uh, for example, if it's your turn to, to be the kitchen, <laughs> then you, you have to, to know where to order food, yeah? And you manage within the, the fund that your fellow initiate and trusted to you. I pay the same, okay? I pay the same, but I don't eat the same. Because I don't come here every day to eat. Actually, I come every two, three days, and I eat only once. So I pay, like you, even extra, more. But I eat less. Understand? Not that I don't pay in my house. Yeah, I do, eh? Apart from everything else I pay already, I pay to the food as well. So I, I pay for the residents as well. Yeah, I told them already, and the office people, they say, if you stay here, you don't have to pay, because you work in here for everybody. But don't take it from the public uh, fund. It just uh, deduct it from my money. And whatever left over, then you will give it to the resident to take care or to buy or to repair around here. Or if uh, not enough in the kitchen, and then we subsidize some, okay? Yeah. So now you know once more time, eh? Anybody tell you a different story, you tell them, go home. <laughs> because that's what I would do, okay? You be the master when I'm not here. Understand all of you. 
a lot of masters, so the office is only a few people, they scared to death. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is teamwork, you see? I'm here, then I'm working with them. They should notify me if any change, if they want to change. After all, this is... I have to know, no? I'm kind of a little boss, you know? <laughs> yeah, big boss, no? <laughs> yeah, actually, um, it should be teamwork. It's not about who's the boss, ne? Eh? Okay? I have to know what's going on here. Now, I... Do my duty, okay? So whatever you ask from me, I do it as far, as far as I can, yeah? So you also have a duty to do what I ask as far as you can. I don't ask for world peace. I don't ask for the moon. I just ask you, anyone, to do your job right and very simple. I'm very nice, but uh, you should be nice too, right? I don't mean you, I mean uh, whoever work here or work with me should be nice. We should have both be nice and respectful of each other, nah? So every time you do something nice, or I always say thank you, for example. And I ask the staff, like kitchen staff or working staff here, to meet me now and then during the retreat. Often, I don't know how many times, but more than once, two, three times and give cakes and candy and talk sweetly and thank you this, thank you that. So we should have this grateful spirit and teamwork spirit. Not everything expect master to do exactly what you want, but you don't do what I want. Not, not really do it for me even, do it for the public. And so I have to always feel worry about whether that work has been done or this work has been done. So I don't have peace of mind to do my job. And that's not right, huh? And then expect me to open the door for you when you come back or whenever you want something from me. From now on, it's not like that anymore, okay? Because if the car has four wheels and each one go different way, don't listen to the driver, what do you think? It's very difficult for the driver to maneuver and it could cause accident. Hmm? Teamwork is like that. There's only one driver and the wheel should follow. No? Teamwork is like that. Yeah. Has to do, everybody has to do their job. No? And if something changes, you have to notify each other. Hmm? Don't you think it's the basic politeness? Huh? Not because I'm the boss here or because it's my house or anything, but because we're working together. Hmm? Whatever I want, I, whatever we have to do, I tell you. Huh? For example, I tell the attendant, come, I'm coming in an hour or half an hour, please tell them to sit and make sure all the uh, earphones are in place and make sure the English, the Westerners sit in the front and the English sit here. and. Chinese sit where, and the new people come sit next to me, and the older people I mean, already seen me at least once or twice sit elsewhere. You see, I told you what, what's going on. So whatever going on, you, you should tell me also, just as teamwork, not, not to even say respect or anything. Because if we don't have teamwork spirit, we get nothing done. Oh, we get done, but, but painful, yeah, difficult and struggling. That is not the way it should be. If everybody is cooperative, then the atmosphere here will be more peaceful and uh, you don't feel conflict in the air. You don't feel something uneasy somewhere. You don't know what, what. You cannot point the finger, but you feel it because there's something not, not moving smoothly. It's like in the family. Even though your children don't hear you arguing nothing, but they feel it. Believe me, they feel it. Yeah? Or if you are mm, lovey dovey in your bedroom and you close the door, but they, they understand what you're doing. Really, ask them. <laughs> they would understand. Don't think they don't know anything. They just don't tell you. Most children, they don't, they don't always express well how they feel about what the parents are doing, but the parents sometimes don't know it. And, unknowingly hurt the children feeling, yeah? 
So we feel uh, we all are intelligent and spiritual people. We do feel things. We do feel the energy in the air, whether it's good or not good. Yeah? Okay? So uh, if uh, we work well together, then our mission would be better, and everybody come here would enjoy better. Hmm? Understand? Okay, now you know, okay? <laughs> Any question? Anything not clear? Tell me. Huh? It's as clear as your nose, right? Good. Now, you can ex express your opinion. <laughs> Um, actually, I don't have a question, but I have an interesting um, uh, information. I have come to know a little group of people. They are not initiate, but they have kind of a vision like uh, they wish to have spiritual uh, village. Village, yeah. V yeah, mm -hmm. where people uh, eat vegan and uh, practitioner. Wow, sounds like a dream, <laughs> like yeah. my dream, yes. Yeah. And, so, what um, happened? And the owner of the hotel in uh, North Thailand, she have uh, maybe 30 hectare uh, um, land. Yeah. And a lot of millionaires come to her and want to buy this place from her. Yeah. They give her like uh, 40 million oh. US dollars. I, I don't have that much. <laughs> no, no, I'm she, out. <laughs> what happened? And then she say no, she don't sell it. And why? Then I ask her, why, why don't, don't, she, don't you sell it? She said, this place is very holy place. Mm. We have a, a very good feng shui. Feng shui, yeah. Yeah. Cái feng shui? <laughs> feng shui. Feng shui, yeah. And then she said her vision, her whole life, her vision is, uh, is uh, seeing uh, this place, living with people who practice uh, with uh, Gun Yin, Gun Yin Bodhisattva. Yeah. And she's not the, the only one who has this vision. Everybody who have to this, uh, come to this place has the same vision. I mean, uh, they really see it or they just wish? They see vision. Okay. Yeah, and then practitioner who come to that place mm. also told her, this place can be only for vegan people mm. and Gun Yin practitioner. Uh -huh. Also, um, there was a woman in Thailand 1,360 years ago, she was the, the only one king. Mm -hmm. She was the one who um, built this uh, city. Mm. This, this city name is Lampoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she has said in, in this new age, uh, there will be a new society here mm -hmm. in this place. Yes. I mean in her place? In this, yeah. Ah. And then uh, they asked me, uh, if I have the chance to tell you that, I um, I would tell you that. What shall I say? What do you want me to say? Maybe maybe uh, you are interested in that place. That that place would be a, a new society and a, a lot of vegan people. Ah. Live one with nature, uh, with and and free energy mm. and uh, um, be a kind to animal. What kind of land is that? Does, does it have a sea around it? Yes, yes, very... Ne next to the sea? Can, can I show you the picture? Okay, come here. Thailand is a good country. I have nothing against it, but I'm not sure what, what to do with it. I'm tired of building things up and then having to leave. This uh, already built some? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The place look like this? Where is the sea? Here is the sea. This is not the sea, this is a lake. Uh, the lake, yeah. There's no sea. <laughs> um, sea is a German word for small lake. Yeah. But not the sea, like ocean. I mean ocean. No, 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 not ocean. I don't mean sea, like German sea, yeah? <laughs> Um, like uh, Chim Gao Si, Amma Gao Si is not that. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, and no. this uh, in the front. Uh, two C, huh? mm -hmm. it look like two handy. Hmm? And this is the front. The back side is a big mountain. Ah. So the wind can come in and the water can, uh, you know, it's flow like ah, that. They yeah. told me that it's Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Yeah, yeah, okay. And she she want you to talk to me about this? She asked me if I have chance. But does she know about me? She know, uh, uh, all of them know you, but... Uh, Who are all of them? They are different kind of people, but have the same vision. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they all are... sit there and they see the same vision. 
Yeah, but they they don't know each other. Also. Oh, I understand. Yeah, but they have the same vision and yeah. have, uh, the same stuff. Okay. But uh, they wish to um, build this kind of uh, um, spiritual city. Yes. City. Uh huh. All right. Anything else? That's it. How your rabbit doing? They all dead already. Yeah. Oh yes, uh, man. Three new. Three new one, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Look at that, they're having a party, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Every day. They have things better than I have. Mm. I don't have this salad in my house. Yeah. They eat better than I do. Yum, yum. <laughs> Send my love to them. Yeah, I do. Thank you. My family used to have rabbit before, my father, yeah? I used to feed them yam leaves, uh, sweet potato leaves, yeah and uh, water spinner. Uh, like that. Okay, uh, next one. Hello. Is... Hello. <laughs> Canada, huh? Yeah. Um, How is the restaurant doing? Doing okay. <laughs> doing okay now? Yeah, in, my, in Paris, doing okay. Okay, ask me. My, my question is about uh, spiritual lines <coughs> and um, Heaven's Gate. Is it possible for us to, to see them or to find them? And if so, how how could we? Because when you talked about it, that for SMTV, you said maybe like three or four people in the world can see them. Uh, how could we yeah, have access spiritual to this? Blessing line? lines. Yes. At uh, uh, Heaven Gate, you can see them. We can see them. Yeah. When you see them, you know it. <laughs> okay. Or oh, ask Saint Peter. Mm. Okay. <laughs> he has all the keys. <laughs> Supposed to. That's it, huh? You can see one of uh, our customers who have seen it. <laughs> One of your sister here, I think she's not here anymore. She's seen it. Here, yeah? Okay. You see anything around here? No? No. <laughs> oh, what can I do for you? I have to clean A up A lot my... here. <laughs> A lot of divine connection here. But that's the more difficult to find, of course. But heaven gate, heaven way, and uh, blessing line, also difficult to find. Mm. But we are not practiced to see these things, okay? We practice to see ourselves, to go home, mm? to see God. If you can see them, by the way, it's okay. If not, it's not a must, yeah? All right. Yeah, anything else? That's it, huh? That's it. Okay. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Voila. Sevini. Any other extra question? Hmm? No, huh? That's good then. So you don't have to hear my cough anymore. I am Angiamo, Sayonara. I go home take my medicine. Mm. Actually, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I just take it in. Just in case, yeah? The last time looked similar like that, no? The beginning just some harmless cough and then and then uh, later on I take a lot of medicine, uh, all kind of thing, it doesn't work. Uh, like uh, right now it's not too much pain yet, but not like last time. Can you scratch your back? Oh, I don't like that, it hurt. <laughs> hurt like no? No, no, no. My God, last time I let them do anything they want and they really beat me up and my body, the cells really cry out pitifully. They complain, we haven't done nothing wrong, we only do good things, why you let people beat us up? It was really painful, my God, how can anybody beat anybody up like that? And I'm so fragile, I shouldn't have let them beat me up like that. Like, uh, you know, some chiropractor, really painful, I'm telling you. I mean it. I, and one of the sisters uh, also, you know, have some problem and let him also beat up like that. And he's a tough, big doctor. And oh, it was really painful. My God, I scream out loud. I mean, when I yell at you, you think it's loud. No, you haven't heard me when, <laughs> when he was beating me up. And one of your sisters, thinking that because he's treating me so he's good, she also come because he has some pain or something. It's like some boxing stuff on the TV, you know, except that, oh my God, nobody see it. Terrible, my God. 
I never do it again. So no scratching, no, no, how you say, uh, chakra pressing, no acupuncture, no pressure compro, nada más, okay? I just take whatever the doctor prescribes. Mm? And then finally, I still need to go to the hospital after all that suffering anyway. It didn't work at all. And you told me about the cologne, I know that. But, but something else, um, it is a little on the just... Um, in my house. Though the clay is very healing, I know that. Um, no, it's something, something else which goes normally with it, but it's a separate thing. It's some basically herbal, um, it's herbs. And it works like antibiotics. It just basically clears all the bacteria, malicious bacteria mm -hmm. and uh, viruses from the body. Okay. I mean, I can... I can try. You, can you try. have it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I already room, I tried hundreds, so one more won't hurt. Everybody is an expert when you're sick. <laughs> Don't you know that? Your neighbor, your dog even tell you. <laughs> is that the thing? Of, of all the thing? All right. oh, thank you. I, I have it here similar. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you, you, you keep it. You have it here? Uh, well, not with me, but I can get it from the room. It's, um, yeah, go get it. Yeah, okay. Uh, before I die, give it to me. <laughs> uh, you try hundred stuff already, one more thing won't hurt, you know. That's how it keep going, you know. But it's, at least it's natural, it doesn't have side effects. So. Yeah, some do. Some natural thing do. Uh, some do, you know, like all oh, the garlic that I took. <laughs> oh, and, and imagine I went to see the doctor with the whole sweating body and not changed clothes and nothing. So I apologize all the time to all the nurses and the doctors. I'm sorry. I, I was so desperate. Apart from this uh, coffee and medicine, I also took ginger, garlic, onion. <laughs> uh, not onion, but lemon altogether. I'm sorry if I stink. He said, no, no, he doesn't stink. <laughs> Maybe he's just polite. And the nurse, they also say, no, no. And she also say, no, no, I'm not sure. Everybody say, no, no. Maybe they're just kind. They don't say the truth, especially when you stink. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, do I smell? No. I just took a shower, but still. Because when you eat garlic and I eat it raw, I was so desperate. Because I cough too much, I get dizzy. Uh, after two, three weeks, you know, it's, it hurt everywhere when you when you 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 cough too much. It shakes the whole body and it pain every bone everywhere. And I, I was worried, so I take all the medicine as well. And I even wake up three, four o'clock in the morning to prepare the garlic concoction. <laughs> I was so desperate, but it still doesn't work very well. Sometimes it's suddenly like nothing happened. And then, and then suddenly I just wheeze in like I, I'm out of breath. It's terrible. It's really karma, you know. Otherwise, otherwise just a normal running nose and cough. It's just a cough syrup is enough. Enough. After two, three days, you should see immediately, immediate improvements. Even not completely healed, in, but you would know that it's efficient. Oh, nothing worked. So I throw them away, and then they give me new one. <laughs> so try this, master. Maybe this is one better. I always have hope, you know, <laughs> trying, trying, because I really don't want to see the doctor. But today uh, I really had to go uh, because it's getting worse. It, it was getting worse and I worry I can't come to see you. Yesterday I could have come to see you, but I don't want you to see the state I was in. Today it seems a little better already. Hey, oh my God, three stuff? You can try this now. Uh-huh. Okay. You don't look like you're envious of me. Please, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you always want something from me that whatever I, I eat, you like. Want some? Oh, please, come on. <laughs> Just share the joy. I don't share the sorrow. Oh, how clever. <laughs> this easy. Yeah. Mm. But I'm already better, you know. Yeah. Actually, uh, Yesterday and this afternoon, it was, you know, like it non-stop and I, I almost collapsed because it's too too much, you know, too much. You, you don't have time to breathe. And it, the, 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 I know the blood just kind of stop running and you feel like your body is in shock or something and uh, headache.
cough too much, it shakes the whole body, you know, and you give you headache and, and, and aching everywhere. And that's that's when I start to worry, yeah. Because I don't like to go doctor actually. But uh, today is begin to get uh, more than worse, so I had to go. Mm-hmm. Actually, I thought, how can I have time to go to doctor because. I'm so busy, you know, meditating. <laughs> so busy sitting, doing nothing, you know, right? Yeah, or laying, doing nothing. Yeah, everybody would believe that I'm busy. I I didn't want to come here, you know. It was so so bad that I, I don't want you to see it. But then I thought, many of you come, maybe it's just this one time and cannot come again and have to go home to work. So, so I thought, I, I have to come. So that uh, I came earlier, but uh, uh, on the way we were talking about uh, how uh, we don't like to go to see doctor. Nobody liked to, and then I said, "Oh my God, maybe I should go." <laughs> and there's a hospital nearby, né? so we just passed by and go in, and then they were very, very, very nice. Yes, and uh, we give them a bag of, of cakes, and they become even nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, more friendly, you know, more childlike innocence. So lovely. So I promise to bring them some more stuff next time. Uh, they they do very, very thorough checkup, no? Everything. Everything to do with the cough, no? They suspect it, this and that, they do everything. Because they, they don't see much trouble in the lung, just some swollen somewhere, a little bit. And the heart's okay, so it's okay then. Mm. I don't have fever, so it's okay. But when I first begin, I had fever. And I say, oh my God, I had to go to the doctor because I had fever. And then the fever just run away. <laughs> I really are scared of doctor, you know. And when I was in the hospital, yeah, I don't know, psychological or maybe the negative power, I don't want to deal with the doctor because he will give him injection. <laughs> when I was laying the, the couch in the hospital, I don't cough that much. I feel comfortable. Yeah, certainly, really. So, um, so I said to the nurse, I said, "Oh, how come I don't cough too much?" When I first came, I coughed so much I had to stay away from them and hold on to the rail because I might collapse. I just cough, you know. My job was just standing there holding on to the rail and cough and cough and cough to prove that we're really in emergency. So they believe in and give me a chair and all that while waiting, you know. I was coughing, coughing. Non-stop, almost non-stop. And then they, when they give me the room inside for the doctor to go and examine, to take blood tests and take uh, blood pressure and all that, I just stopped coughing. I was worried. They think I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm playing theater with them. So I had to say, you know, I tell to the nurse, you know, I cough before a lot, right? Now I certainly I don't cough here. Uh, maybe something good in this room. She said, okay, then stay here. I say, I gladly do. <laughs> But of course you can, you know, it's emergency room. You can only come it and then come inside once or twice or whenever necessary, and then you have to go. And then you have to go to general doctor, you know? Yeah. Or go to a bigger hospital. Yeah. Okay, any question? Master? Yes? Does it help if we wish for your good health? You can try. I don't want to bother you, really. I can't wish, so you can try. For me, I cannot do it. I cannot wish anything for myself. Okay. It has to be completely unconditional work here. You understand? So yes. we can. Uh, we... Uh, you can try, but thank you. Maybe it will come and we will go, you know. <laughs> and maybe if a lot of people pray, it does help, you know, sure. You have the power, I don't have. I only bring the money, but I can't spend. <laughs> I only bring the power to the world for all of you or for people outside also can use if they are pure enough and sincere and uh, worthy enough they can pray to this power it's all available yes just I can't use I, I can use this karmic immunity yeah and I can use um, uh, youth and all that stuff but it will go fast with, with them with you coming one one day is all spent. For example, nah? all spent to the minimum bottom. Then I have to hurry up 
to to put some more in. That I can have, karmic immunity. It's just for me, not for anybody else. I'm like, for a youthful thing like that, it's for me. But I don't have time, I'm not interested. And all for a long, long live, you know, like I could live many hundred years, thousand years, no problem. But I'm not interested. I'm not interested to carry on coughing for another thousand years. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you anyway. I'm happy to see you. Even, <laughs> even if I have to cough while looking at you, it's just not nice for you to have to see me coughing. Yeah. Because then I have to cover my pretty face. <laughs> you don't see, you see only half of my face. What a pity, that's all. <laughs> okay, but this time not many of you coughing, huh? No, huh? It's good, no? You okay? A little soup, okay, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, other guys, okay? You guys are easy anyway. After you. After you married, nothing is difficult anymore. <laughs> you know, and after married, everything is a good food. <laughs> and even if your wife burn the food, you know, and you say, "Oh, she treat you like a Buddha, give you burn offering, you know? <laughs> treat you like God." Yeah. Ah. That is good, you know, to get married so that you know what it's like. Yeah? Remember the joke? Oh, I have some joke. You want to hear a joke? Yeah. Last time we did only half, ne? And I had to run, ne? Oh, man. Uh. No, I had to go, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Time passed so quick. Today I came out late, that's why. Because I, I have to go to the doctor. It took some time and I came back late and I had to take a shower. And it was a little difficult because uh, there are some tests here that I cannot wet. So I had to cover it, everything and you know, my, my one hand to cover this hand to tape it off. It was difficult for me to do that. But uh, I didn't want to call anybody. Um, I was thinking, I tried to to sympathetically feel for the guys who doesn't have two arms. Because many people have only one arm and with the prothesis that they cannot use. And I'm lucky, you know, I have two arms, so I should try. And sometimes in the dark, uh, because of my dogs, I don't want to turn on the light. So I walk with feeling, you know, with the feet, you know, like the, the blind people walk. <laughs> yeah. By by the way, I have a joke for you. Before I leave, I have two minutes. Uh, there was a woman who was waiting in a coffee shop, and uh, for her date to appear, you know, internet date. Uh, and then suddenly, the man appeared next to her uh, with a can and with a dog, you know, for the seeing dog. And he asked her, are you waiting for, like, Cobb, Brian, <laughs> something, whatever name that is? She said, yes, how do you know? And the man, the man said, I can feel it. I can feel your energy waiting for someone. But he, uh, Brian Cobb is me. Sorry, that's the name of the basketball star. I don't mean to offend him. I just His name just popped out of my mind. Uh, so she said, OK, yeah, I'm waiting for him. I, he, he said, I am that one. And uh, and are you Lisa uh, Minelli, whatever? Yes. <laughs> and she said, yes, yes. Uh, so he said, we have a date today. And she looked at him with a can and with the seeing dog. She said, you, you are blind? Mm -hmm. And the man said, yeah, what do you expect? It's a blind date. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it up. <laughs> I made it up. Uh, uh, last night, um, while watching for some uh, some some news, it's always sad news, it's terrible. So I tried to switch on to another channel um, to 
to wash it out, all these terrible images from war and suffering. No, sometimes switch it on for some cartoon or something or music before I turn it off. I don't turn off at the suffering. I switch it on to something else so that my mind can rest and then, then I turn it off after the news. So I saw some uh, part of a very nice movie, like a blind date, yes. Um, the girl is black and the man is white. And they also didn't know each other before, but it's, it has a spark immediately. I think you know that. New love, new luck, something like that. And it was in German, uh, but maybe it was in English and translated into German. And the guy was perfect. He was an architect, and she seemed to be very cold to him at the beginning, you know. But later, somehow, he managed to come to make the garden for her and fix the house for her, the new house, new... It's a very bad uh, uh, garden, yeah, and he made it all perfect for her. And uh, he even worked late at night and all that. She said, why are you doing this? And he said, because, uh, mm, because um, I'm working for a woman who is very, very busy and who deserves a... Because she has bad relationship before, you know? Her husband just run away when she was when the house was in danger, left her standing alone there. Everybody run away because something go or some the house falling down or something like that. And she just standing there and the husband also left right at the altar, you know, so she feel a little bit rejected. So but this guy, oh my god. After she was so touched by him, it's okay, she she has a relationship with him. Uh, and he does everything that, that a perfect man would do. And he even paint her toenails and, you know, make, <laughs> make sofa for her when she sits so she can relax with the fountain nearby, next to it. He say, because you come home from work, you're very busy, you can sit here and read books and relax. You think of, of everything, paint her toenails and everything. Ah, and I was thinking, my God, such a blind day like this, everybody would want to have. I say, this is only a movie. You can never find a man like this. <laughs> I never heard of one. Are you one of those like that? Yes? Who, who? Are your husband one like that? Yeah, yours? Yeah. Really? I didn't see him do anything like that. <laughs> it's really attentive. Yeah? Okay. Probably, yes. And that guy is an architect as well. So handsome, so handsome, handsome. Mm. I thought, my God, where can you find such a man like that? It must be just a movie. Handsome, you know, blonde, blue eyes, and very tall, and just not extremely handsome, but very easy on the eyes, and really handsome, and so kind, so kind, so understanding. She was so moody and rejectful and all that, but he is always very attentive to her, and just ignore what her mood is and always does things to make her happy. Until she really gave in, she was really, really happy with him. And of course, happy ending, huh? you know, after a while. Of course, but they don't make you so quickly like that. They make trouble in between, you know, the director or the writer <laughs> make trouble with them in between and separate for a while. And she went back to date the black, another black guy and because the family found her a black guy, also a very handsome black guy and very, uh, you know, well-to-do and have job and everything. Compared to the white guy, there's not much difference, except the color, yeah? And, and the friend of the white guy also found the ex, uh, ex-girlfriend come back together again, and they bump into each other, black pair and uh, white pair, and then she realized she missed him. And then she tried to get him back. After a while, of course, after a lot of hardship, you know how movies are, they don't... They don't make, they don't make it easy for, <laughs> for any couple, no? They have to fight first. They have to separate. They heartbreak and then come back. You all know, right? Yeah. You don't. You do. I do. <laughs> oh. Ay, yeah, yeah. I shall miss you, but I have to go. Ah, oh, I hope I come back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. You still stay. Are oh, you going? Any of you go tomorrow? Right, Sam? You go? You Oh, oh, all the handsome hot guys are going. The handsome girl going. Oh, man. You leave me just like that? Okay, never mind. I go see my doctor. <laughs>
I have where to go. No. <laughs> Sorry, huh, guys? I try to come tomorrow if I can, okay? Okay. But uh, you gone anyway, huh? If you go, have a good trip, okay? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. <coughs> oh. When I tell joke, I don't cough. See that? Because it's not karma. This is for you. Then it's different. Oh, I try to run, man. Oh, I'm late a little bit. No fun. I can be late ten minutes. It's good. And the one up there, bless it yourself, eat it yourself. <laughs> I love you. Thank you.